Hello, this is Bo Blacks here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I have a lot of updates and new information in regards to a video I uploaded yesterday titled, What is YouTube hiding from you? So in that video, I told you guys how to access your hidden channel score and your hidden video ratings. But exactly two hours after I uploaded this video and the information started circulating on Twitter and amongst other creators, YouTube patched out this way to find your P-score and your channel video rating. So what I told you in that video no longer works in order to access this information, but it doesn't mean that P-scores are completely gone or that video ratings are gone and they change the algorithm. They can't do that that fast. They're just hiding the ability for anyone to access this information. Which, being honest here, we did expect YouTube to patch this out. It's why me, Optimus, Nicholas Diorio, and Josh Pescator kept this a secret for about 24 hours in order for us to gather the entire list of P-scores that we made. But the speed at which they did it is absolutely insane. Two hours? I wish they manually reviewed my videos for monetization that fast because Jesus that is so quick and they seem to be so slow with everything else so it really just shows where their priorities lie in getting stuff done within the company. I understand that P-score has to exist. I understand that video ratings have to exist in order to appease the advertisers and that YouTube would prefer to have it, you know, the way it was before 2016, before the apocalypse, and this is kind of a necessary evil, but why hide this information from creators? This is crucial in order to help grow your channel. Now obviously it's not required, a lot of YouTubers have been able to get by without this information and succeed by either just guessing through trial and error what would work in the algorithm and what doesn't instead of just directly having this information, or by doing their own thing and happening to just grow a dedicated fan base that way. But having this information available to creators definitely wouldn't hurt. It would save a lot of time for the creators who do try to game the algorithm, and for people who don't want to do that, they can just go about making their own content or even adjusting their content in slight ways to a piece of the algorithm somewhat with the information they're given regarding their channel, but not in a way that would compromise the creative integrity. Like, this number is arguably more important than seeing a subscriber count. I don't know, man. The cat's out of the bag with this one. I just hope YouTube somehow some way listens to us and, you know, at least puts P-score and channel video ratings in the creator dashboard or something like that. Especially since everybody already knows that it exists through the research that me, Optimus, and Nicholas Diorio have done. Even though YouTube is trying their best to let nobody know that this is the case, every video I've seen discussing P-score and the research that we found actually had very, very low views and was never even getting into recommended. Optimus's video, for example, I'm pretty sure did below average for his channel. The quartering talked about it and it didn't get that many views. And my video in particular got completely destroyed in terms of viewership. My video did literally the worst a video on my channel has done in the past five months. And I'm not complaining, I'm very grateful for the audience I have. But five months ago, I was under 20k subscribers and was only getting, you know, an average of 1 to 10k views per video. I'm getting that same amount here when all the videos I've made since then has gotten at least 10k within the first day. So, conspiracy hat on, maybe YouTube is actually manually suppressing these types of videos because they don't want the information to get out. It would make a lot of sense considering that they patched out the method to even find this information in the first place, but it could just be that the subject matter, the title, and the thumbnail is just not intriguing to people because it kind of only is relevant to creators and not so much viewers, but it also could be that YouTube is handpicking this video to be suppressed just because of the information that I, you know, present in it. When we were doing research for this, we did find that Nerd City's video exposing YouTube on the keywords the algorithm uses to tag your videos as demonetized, that video was actually rated X. And I wouldn't be surprised if they manually put the rated X label onto videos that they don't want to perform. I wish I still had the method available to me for me to actually check my video to see if it is rated X, but now it's impossible to check, so thank you YouTube. Anyways, speaking of videos on the Peace score topic, Scarce actually uploaded a news video where not only did he mention the research that me, Nick, and Optimus found, but he actually featured my channel and my video in his video. 
Here's what he said. Now I do want to share a video from a guy named Bow Blacks, and this guy has over 5,000 subscribers and he worked together with a bunch of other YouTubers to actually come out with this information publicly and it's a pretty big deal. Uh, you guys definitely should check out his channel and watch this video, but I'm just going to share some of his video with you guys so you know what the heck is going on here. Recently with the help of Nicholas Diorio, Optimus, and Josh Pescator, Okay, I'm gonna stop it here because I already have the video on my channel. You can go check it out if you want to. But I do find it funny that we're now living in a reality where I'm showing Scarce's video in which he shows my video in which I show Nicholas Diorio's channel. I can't wait for somebody else to react to this and then continue the cycle because I, I always find it just funny when circumstances like that happen. But despite getting my sub count and name wrong, I do want to thank Scarce for mentioning me in his video. He really didn't have to mention my channel or show my video specifically. He could have just talked about the situation and the research without crediting me like some other news sources do on YouTube. But it was a very welcome surprise to see Scarce credit me to such an extent in his video when he really didn't have to, so I do want to thank him for that. Anyways, as Scarce continued to talk about Peace Corps in his video, he also delved into the reason why he quit making YouTube videos for so long. And this is what he says. You guys might be asking, Scarce, what is your Peace score? Well, my Peace score is actually one of the lowest on the platform. It's 590. So it's extremely low. If compared to these other channels with over a thousand, it's very low. And even compared to other YouTube drama channels like Philip DeFranco and Keemstar, I mean, Keemstar's is like 800, Philip DeFranco is close to that as well. I mean, there are channels with content that's a lot more mature than mine, and there are channels that just don't even care and they just upload other people's content and rip content from people's channels, and they still have a much higher P score than us. So it's actually very concerning for me. And that's why a lot of people ask me, Scarce, why did you, you know, take a break from YouTube last year and that's because I decided to just turn this into my hobby and not actually make this into like a full-time job I guess uh, basically I just decided to go to school and to actually I don't know focus on uh, my future because I just don't see a future in YouTube for me because YouTube just doesn't promote the channel anymore and we've known this for a while but uh, this P score thing just it just shows like literally there are numbers now to show that YouTube just does not look at my channel very highly and they're just not going to promote the content that we put out. Now I do want to elaborate on why Scarce's P-Score is so low and that's because of upload frequency. P-Score is based off a metric of five things and one of the most important things that contributes to your P-Score is video consistency. And as many of you guys know, Scarce hadn't uploaded in months. Now recently he started doing daily content, but what we actually discovered through our research is that P-Score updates globally about four times a year is what we're suspecting right now. It could be eight times a year. But we know P-Score hasn't updated since before the beginning of October because we actually checked the P-Score of a relatively new channel on YouTube that was created on October 6, 2019. It is Boogie's travel channel that is fully monetized and has 20k subscribers at the time of recording this and there was absolutely no P-Score to be shown because the global P-Score update hasn't happened between the time the channel was created and now. YouTube actually talked about this briefly in the video made for advertisers where they explain P-Score. And the P-Score is updated regularly. So if there's a new star or breakthrough talent that meets brand suitability and other requirements, the P-Score will automatically include them as part of Google Preferred the next time content is refreshed for your brand to stay relevant with audience interests and behavior. As you heard in the video, it says the next time content is refreshed. And that refresh hasn't happened yet. So once the refresh happens, I'm sure Scarce's P-Score will probably be somewhere around 700. So if Scarce continues to upload and his videos start blowing up sometime within the next few months, you guys will know why. Also off topic, but I've been re-watching that P-Score video quite a bit just to get my bearings on what I'm talking about and to edit videos and stuff. And that music that YouTube plays in the background is stuck in my head. It's just so catchy. But that is about it for the video. With this video in particular, I highly urge you to share it around because it might get rated X or throttled in some way by YouTube considering the subject matter. If you're interested in YouTube news in general, be sure to subscribe with notifications on and follow my Twitter to get updates on everything in real time. Thank you so much to my channel members. If you want to support the channel, you can for only $1 a month. It really does help out. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in another video.